Hi, this is Professor CC19, and today we're playing level 381 on our quest to the end of Candy Crush Saga, where we have 32 moves to clear out 61 jelly. But before we get started, I put out new videos almost every day. So if you like this video and you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new content. So on this level, we have a lot of jelly to deal with. It's scattered all around the edges of the board. We have some in the middle, and we have a cutout right in the center that we can't do anything about. It will just be in our way. But we also have a lot of other blockers. We have licorice locks surrounding this cake bomb, and we have two layers of frosting surrounding this one. Plus, with all the licorice and the cake bomb itself on the left, it makes it very difficult for us to hit the bottom of the cake bomb to clear it out, because no candy populates underneath until we clear out the stuff up above. But once we do get the cake bombs gone, it will be a big help to us clearing out two layers of everything from the board. So right away I see I can make a horizontal stripe with the red, also matches up the blue, I'm going to drop the other red into alignment and see how I can start clearing out these licorice locks. Now we have two and two with the purple, but I don't see any way we can get another purple next to it. So we're just going to take out one of the licorice locks and hope we can get set up for something better. I can begin to strike the frosting as well, creating some nice cascades. Another stripe clearing out that licorice. Now, with only five colors on the board, it is fairly easy to get some divinely created specials. At this point, we don't really have very much space, so it's going to be hard to get a color bomb. Although we can take out a layer of everything on the top, which can be difficult to reach. Now, I am starting to see a potential for a color bomb. If we can remove the green and drop these two orange down, this green, drop these two orange down, we could have a color bomb formation with the orange. So I'm going to try and get another green here, and it looks like it worked. All right, so we can send off this stripe, clear out the licorice in that row and the frosting, and it creates another color bomb. So let's see here. What would be the best use of this color bomb? Should we take out all green, all orange, or wait to match it with a special? Well, in the position it's in, and being fairly early in the game, I don't think it's going to be easy to match it with a special. So what I'm going to do is take out all orange from the board. It's going to concentrate the colors down, making it easier for us to, pardon me there, making it easier for us to maybe make another color bomb. I see we can make a stripe and begin to strike this cake bomb. Um, another potential color bomb with the green doesn't look like a strong potential though. So just going to send that off. Fell for a nice green stripe though. That's going to strike both cake bombs. Now I'm trying to see if we can get some ranged attacks from the center of the board going out to strike both sides. Um, we can take out another layer. So both our cake bombs are half cleared. So we need four more slices in different positions on each of them. I think the right cake bomb is more easy on this board. The left one, just because of the licorice, the combination of blockers makes it very difficult. Working towards the center, trying to set something up, creating some nice cascading. Here we go. So here's the question. Do we go for a horizontal stripe with the red or a stripe wrap combo with the green and red wrapped? I think the more direct route is to go horizontal stripe with the red. And maybe we still could do something with this red wrapped candy. I don't know. Um, I don't want to sink that red down anymore, though. Um, the red stripe, that is. And, oh, I made that mistake. All right, so 11 moves left. We're fairly close to getting this done. However, those bottom corners of the cake bombs are very difficult to reach. All right, looks like we have one strike on them. There's one strike. Now we need one more. All right, we can get one more on the left side. Strike wrap combo. And, oh, we don't get to use that color bomb. That's kind of sad. Oh, we do get to use the color bomb. All right, so that's kind of a glitch that occurs sometimes. I don't know if you can call it a glitch, but sometimes the cake bomb doesn't do an effective job at clearing out a layer of everything. I don't know why. 
it happens to me on multiple devices, which makes me think that even though it's not supposed to be an element of the game, it is for now, at least until King sees it and fixes it. But as of right now, the cake bomb doesn't really clear out a layer of everything and sometimes leaves us leftover specials. And in this case, I get to use that for a color bomb wrapped candy combo. Now, I do not call this a cheat because it isn't. It is something that naturally occurred in the game. What I would call it is an exploit because I don't think it's really supposed to happen, but it is happening to me quite often. And I absolutely am going to use it to my advantage, as I recommend that you do as well. So this has set me up. We only have um, the residue of the last cake bomb that went off because of the double thick jelly underneath it. Um, we have five moves and it set us up with only one jelly left. So I can drop the purple into alignment. And let's see here. We need another purple nearby. There we go. All right, so that is how we beat level 381. This was a hard level. Um, I got it done on my first try. Um, the best strategy is trying to focus all your attention on clearing space early on, and that will lead into clearing out the cake bombs. The one on the right is probably easier than the one on the left because it's a little bit more, a little more particular you have to be to clear out those licorice locks. But um, either way, once you have the cake bombs cleared, it should give you a lot of progress clearing out a layer, giving you more space. And don't forget to take advantage of any exploits you may find. Those big combos, they come and they go, but sometimes the cake bombs go off with just enough luck to leave us with something spectacular. If you're struggling on this level, don't forget to use boosters if you think they're necessary. The lollipop hammers and the switch hands, the in-game boosters so you can advance to the next level. Uh, if you want to bring something in, I would probably recommend bringing in um, a stripe wrapped. Um, you can exit and re-enter until they're set up next to each other. A stripe wrap combo to begin this level would be very helpful. Um, or maybe fish, because you'll see more than one throughout the level, and they can help you in the end game clearing out the cake bombs. Anyway, if you found this video helpful to you, please subscribe. If you're stuck on any particular level of the game, please leave a comment below. I'll try and help you. And as always, thanks for watching.